Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The former Radio 1 DJ Chris Denning has pleaded guilty to a series of historical sex offences, many against children. Denning, who's 75, was charged after a police investigation into a disco in Surrey known as the Walton Hop. Dan Johnson reports. Yeah, the show's where it's at on the BBC Light programme, and this is Chris Denning with you right through until 5 o'clock. Chris Denning, one of the original voices of Radio 1, a star who used his celebrity status to abuse boys as young as eight. These aren't the first crimes he's admitted. The former DJ is already serving a 13-year sentence for the abuse of 24 boys. Today, he pleaded guilty to abusing 11 more between 1969 and 1986. Some of Chris Denning's victims were in court this morning to watch him face the 24 counts of indecent assault and indecency with children. It took time to read all the charges to him. 21 times he answered that he was guilty. To another three counts, he pleaded not guilty. He didn't hide his interest in young boys, here talking to a TV documentary maker. Um, I would say my key age of attraction is about 15 or 16 actually. I am a 14 year old boy in a 68, 950 year old horrible body. And this is where he found many of his victims. It used to be the Walton Hop Disco, a teen night that ran for years in Walton on Thames, more recently the focus of a police investigation. The Walton Hop was always very great fun and I, I did feel rather good there because most of the young people recognised me or knew me and so um, I suppose I felt important. In the late 90s he was jailed in the Czech Republic. He also served time in Slovakia and for other offences here in Britain. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this, the second in our series of programmes, Look Where You're Going. Now, as a result, Denning was a TV Martin. presenter as well as a DJ but it was Radio 1 that brought him fame. Here, with the original lineup, and again for a reunion 30 years later. His public persona masked serial sex offending, decades of abuse still being uncovered. He'll be sentenced for these latest admissions in October. Dan Johnson, BBC London News. I've been